Okay, here's how to beat Delver in the Surge too. When you drop down into this pit, which is where he is, he's gonna leap on you. So make sure to leap away, lock on, and if you get in quick enough, you can get a couple of hits. I missed, but I got one. Okay, this is phase one, and pretty much all you have to do is try to block his swipes. If you block his swipes four times, it stuns him, and that lets you get a heap of attacks in on him. In this particular video, I'm gonna show you how to get the Helix of the Delver version two weapon from the boss, which means you have to kill him in a specific way, but in phase one, there is no specifics you need to know. You just have to kill him as quickly as you can. All right, when he digs down like that, run. He's gonna come up underneath you, then turn around and you can get a hit or two in on him. Run away, and when he comes up, turn around and get a hit or two in on him. Now he'll leap out, you just run to the left, lock on and then you can get a couple of hits on him. You don't need to jump away, as long as you're running he'll miss. So again, just rinse and repeat the exact same strategy, just wait for his swipes and try to block them and then when he staggers, well, he's probably not going to need to stagger again, he's almost dead. Okay, he's digging down again, so again just run, wait for him to jump up and then turn around immediately and get a couple of hits in, run away, turn around, a couple of hits in. And now run to the left, getting ready to lock on when he launches out of the ground, lock on and get some hits in. All right, this will take us to phase two, which is the most difficult phase of the entire fight. This is where we start to do the mechanics to get the version two boss weapon. And that entails breaking all of the armor on all of his body parts. In phase two, he only has armor on two of those body parts and that's his arms. We'll talk about that in a second. When he's doing this, you wanna hit those nanite things he puts on the ground. If you don't hit those and destroy them, he'll uh, suck them back up when he lands back on the ground and he'll recover. So by hitting him, you prevent him being able to recover. All right, we wanna lock on and destroy the armor on his legs. The way to do that is to block his swipes like you do in phase one. Only in this, one, in this phase, when he goes back on his legs like that, he's gonna launch forward in an unblockable. So you wanna get out of the way of that. You wanna make him swipe and then you want to do a big jumping hit onto his, onto his body part. That broke his uh, right arm's armor. Okay, don't lock on, run around and then attack swipe, uh, slide attack into those things. Don't stop to try to destroy them because he'll hit you with another one or he'll land on you. All right, so I want to run up to him here and hopefully get him to do a bite. He didn't, he did a launch, but I want him to get him to do his bite attack because he always follows that with a swipe. That's it, that's his bite attack. Now he'll swipe and I can block it. There we go. Usually does two. He sometimes does one swipe after that, but usually two. So there's the bite and another swipe will be coming. And there's the two that stuns him. I was hoping that would take out his armor, but for some reason it didn't hit it. That's okay, it hit another part of his body. So we just do that again. We just inspire him to swipe. All right, he's doing this again, so lock off, run, and then try and do a slide attack into those nanite things to reduce his health. You wanna make sure though that his health isn't too low when you're doing this. It's better to let him recover if you haven't broken the armor on his arms yet. You wanna break the armor on his arms before we complete phase two. So, okay, there's his bite attack. He's gonna swipe now. He only did one. We have, to do, we have to block him two more times. Those orange icons next to his name, one's grayed out, so two more times. It's one. Okay, I messed that one up. It's all right, just be patient. There's the bite attack, you know he's gonna swipe now. One, there we go. All right, that's broken the armor on his arm. Now all we have to do is finish him off any way we want. And the sooner the better, since this is the hardest phase of the entire fight. Another swipe. Okay. Another one. When he does his bite attack, just hold block. You'll probably take some damage or, or a hit to your stamina at the very least. But then after that, you know he's definitely gonna do a swipe or two. And there we go, and that'll finish him off. Phase three is the easiest of all of, well it's just as easy as phase one really. He just has a couple of new attacks, but now what we wanna do is break the armor on the parts of his body that we haven't already broken. Since we've already done his arms, that means his two legs, his head, and his body. I'm targeting his body here, and I've already broken that. Did you notice I used the drone? The drone is really good for breaking armor on his body, and if you wear the Jaguar armor set, you get a lot more shots from the drone, so 
I like to wear that in this fight. So now I've targeted his head. I want to try and break his head next. Now I'm too close to him. I don't want to have to block him like I was blocking then. You want to just try and keep your distance from him. Okay, I've targeted his, his body again. Okay, his body's definitely gone. His arms are gone. So now I'll target his right leg with the drone. Okay, the drone has taken out the armor on his right leg. Now I want to target his left leg. If I can get it on, it's a bit tricky. Okay, it's on. Now hopefully he'll do a big slide attack. He does those attacks where he throws out a line of nanites there, easily to avoid, and this big slide attack. When he does this, just get out of the way, run in, and do a charged attack on the, on the armor you're trying to break. Now his health is almost low, I want to make sure that I wait for him to do a slide attack before hitting him at all and then do another charge attack on his head. Oh, that's perfect. Charge attack on his head. Okay, that's broken all of the armor on his body. We're guaranteed the version 2 weapon now and we can kill him any way we want. So we just go in and just hammer him until he's dead. And that's it. That's the mechanics of this fight. Phase 3, you just stay away from him, avoid the lines of nanites until he does his big jumping slide at you, jump away from him when he does that, and then run in and do a big charge attack on the part you want to break. And for all the other parts, use your drone ammo. And if you've got the Jaguar suit, you'll have plenty of drone ammo. Alright, well I hope that helps you out guys. Um, what I'm going to do is I will put a complete list in the description of the build I'm using in this boss fight. You don't really need a specific build though. The, the boss fight is really comes down to mechanics. Once you understand the mechanics then the fight is very doable. But I'll put the build in there anyway just in case you want to try and replicate exactly what you've seen here. Uh, I'll list out all the implants and gear I'm using. Now let's just quickly have a look at the weapon we got. That's another weapon you get. You'll get that no matter what, which way you kill him. This is the one you, you, we get, the version 2 Helix of the Delva. It's a pretty cool looking weapon. That's pretty sweet. So yeah, if you can kill him in the right way to get this weapon, well worth it. Okay, well, I hope that helps you guys out. Until the next boss fight, bye for now.